Yeah. My name is Agus. I am a senior in the exercise health science, UMass Boston. I will help you to achieve the exercise program goal for the summer 2020. I hope that you did the exercise in physical education class in high school before COVID-19 and you want to have more muscle endurance. How did you do PE in high school? We did it once a week. Great. Could you tell me if there's any training day dedicated for working on muscle? We didn't have any. Also, you don't have a specific. Yeah? And how often did you train on muscle in a month? Either zero or one. What do you know about baby weight training? The, that training only uses your body. Good. And how did you distinguish between upper body and lower body? Upper body means my arms, while lower body means my legs. Basically like that. And we go to part one, defining muscle endurance. What does muscle endurance mean to you? It means that I could work repetitively without getting tired. Do you think it's the best way to measure muscle endurance? Push-ups. Good. But push-up is only for uh, upper body. How do you think muscle endurance supports you in school and daily activity? It helps me do a lot of things without getting tired. What kind of muscle endurance do you expect to have after the training? Mostly legs. You want to work on lower body. Great. Let's move to second to a part, previous experience, benefit and failures. What is your past experience in muscle uh, training? I don't have any. You never did before. Have you find, how did you find the benefits when doing muscle endurance training? It helps me not get tired so easily. How do you understand the process to improve muscle endurance? When I exercise, I train my muscles. Good. What do you think will be difficulties in doing muscle endurance training? It's difficult to keep a schedule for a long time. And what kind of support did you need? do you need in terms of accessing the muscle endurance training? I need someone to motivate me. You need motivator. What kind of support do you need in terms of understanding the exercise instruction and good practice? I need someone who makes sure that I'm doing the right exercise. Or you need an observer and supervisor. Okay. And what kind of support do you need in terms of time to exercise? I need reminders. Somebody to uh, remind you about workout time. And what kind of support do you need in terms of financial and material? I don't need any. Good. Now we go to second B part, trans theoretical model of the order of change. What do you think about urgency starting the exercise? I think that it's necessary, but I'm not motivated for it yet. What is your general plan to start this uh, muscle endurance training? My plan is to start at the end of the summer. Okay. How do you prepare for training? I want to learn about the exercise. And what are the obstacles in starting the muscle endurance training? It's difficult to know if I'm using the correct form. Okay, yeah, that's why you need an uh, observer. When will you expect to have a better muscle endurance? Before the end of this year. We have a couple months, yeah. Then now we go to part three, needs of client. What are your needs that you expect from the coach? I need a coach to supervise me. Uh, to make sure the correct form. Okay. And what do you know about the exercise prescription? It's a type of exercise program. Yeah, kind of it. They tell you or how you gonna exercise. How could you describe your motivation level? It's medium. So, so you're not very high motivated, you're not low motivated. What is your diet or food situation to get the best nutrition to form muscle endurance training? I think I need more protein milk. It's good. Protein milk boosts your muscle development. And what kind of information do you need to do muscle endurance training? I need info on my progress during the training. Okay. So a coach will monitor that and then tell you which one you need to improve more. Now we go to the fourth part. Feedback about the coaching process. What can a coach help you to meet your needs? I need a coach who stays in touch with me during all of the training periods. Or you, when you start until you, you end the program, coach will be with you. Okay. And last, we go to part five. It's a closing. I thank you for your time and your cooperation. If you have any more questions, do not hesitate to contact me. Thank, thank you. you.